All right, good morning. I'm here at uh, at Love's, and I just had the trailer weighed, and now I'm gonna go in the building and find out what the results are, and then I'll pick back up here in a few minutes. I'm at the Love's in Fort Myers, Florida, at the Cat Scales. So I'm just curious to see how much that puppy weighs. We weighed the trailer and truck, and then I disconnected, took the truck off the scales, and then we just weighed the uh, trailer. So I'm curious to see what just the trailer weighs. All right, I'll be back. All right, I dropped the trailer so that tomorrow morning early at eight o'clock, I can come on over and uh, with the truck and we're gonna install the uh, weight distribution system. Just, you know, if you live in Southwest Florida, trying to get through traffic at eight o'clock in the morning is a nightmare around here. So I figured it'd be easier to drop it off today and then just drive over in the truck tomorrow. So I've got the, uh, the weight and everything. And when I get home, we'll sit down and we'll talk about that. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I've got my results from from the scales and the trailer came in at 11.6 and the trailer and truck came in at 19.860. All right, so now I can do my calculations and figure out, you know, what my tongue weights are and everything like that. Um, not what they are, what they should be. And then I'm gonna go and figure out how I can get, you know, get a tongue weight and this sort of thing. So, all right, so there you have it. This is, this is with both vehicles on the scale. And this is just the trailer on the scale, okay? So, all right. Okay, I'm gonna do a little short video to add to yesterday stuff when I had the trailer uh, weighed and everything. I had taken it to have my uh, to have my uh, weight distribution system put on, and uh, ran into a problem. Okay. Um, and the installer there, or the, the people there, just kind of, we don't know what to do, we don't know what to do. So I, at that point, I figured it's time to get the hell out of there. So, what I've done is, um, I went back and I kind of re, rethunk the whole thing. And uh, what I came up with was, uh, I've decided to go with a Kurt product, okay? Um, now, the problem we ran into, I don't know if you can see my cursor on the screen or not, but this, this right here is my, is my, um, my frame for the sake of argument, but my frame, and you'll see in some of the pictures, is double the width of this, okay? So, and it's 10 inches tall and it's aluminum and I had aluminum plates welded on both sides of that for this purpose. Now, normally you mount these, uh, these vertical steel plates, one on this side, one on the other side, and then there's a bolt that goes across the top and a bolt that goes across the bottom and you don't have to drill through the frame. Well, they don't make them that big for a 10 inch uh, uh, frame like I've got. And again, you'll see those in the pictures that I've got on the, uh, in this video, you'll see some pictures of my tongue. But anyway, so when I called Kurt, I said, what's my solution? And he says, well, we make these uh, bolt on uh, chain hangers and these chains hold the uh, weight distribution bars. So I ordered a set of these 
and you know we'll have to drill through and I'll have to get probably some longer bolts than that whatever comes with it because I've got to go through two of these instead of just one all right and so you can see in this picture right here those things I just showed you replace these now I don't know if you can tell or not but you see how they they pretty much just hang over they hang over like one thickness of a frame rail well mine's double the thickness so these won't work so I had to get those um, things that bolt on okay and those are those are where the hell are those those are right there you know obviously I'm gonna do a video on this when we install it but the, it's just a pin that sticks out you hang the chain over it and you put a cotter pin through it and then that chain is what supports the the chain supports this weight distribution bar okay while I was at it I decided to go ahead and order a new um, uh, receiver hitch now this is a 17,000 pounds. This is a class five with a tongue weight capacity of 2,550 pounds, okay? So this, um, this one is definitely beefier than the one that's comes stock on the trucks. Okay, I just wanted to shoot this short video and add it to the um, yesterday's video that I'm getting ready to put together and upload. And then I'm gonna go into my, uh, uh, we got in the uh, generator, put it all together, so you'll you'll see that coming up. All right, and I just kinda wanted to, to add this, but when we install all of these new parts, the weight distribution and sway bar system, um, the new class five heavy duty uh, two inch receiver on the truck, um, of course, we'll do a video on all of that. All right. We'll, we'll be back soon, and uh, bye. Okay, we got the new, we got the new generator. I'm going to finish up the last video with just a little short video FedEx just delivered it box looks in pretty good shape hopefully the unit inside looks pretty good I mean it looks pretty banged up but should be okay this is the Westinghouse 33 30 40-50 at propane and 3700 4500 gas i'm only going to run it on propane so all right